top 5 amphibious vehicles. Number 5. BMP-3F. BMP-3F is a marine's fighting vehicle designed and manufactured by Russian company Kurgan Mashabad, for more sustained amphibious assault operations. The vehicle features a flexible design to operate under difficult sea conditions, and offers increased firepower, maneuverability and protection of the Marines over its base model, the BMP-3 Infantry Fighting Vehicle, which was first produced in the late 1980s. The Marines' vehicle features higher floatability reserve factor and stability and can be afloat at Sea State 3 and do firing with necessary accuracy at Sea State 2. The vehicle is operated by a crew of three and accommodates seven soldiers. It has a weight is 18,700 kilograms. The vehicle is equipped with a lightweight anti-surge vein and an air intake tube. The BMP-3F Marines fighting vehicle is equipped with a 100mm semi-automatic 2A70 gun slash missile launcher serving as the primary armament. The launcher, stabilized in two axes, can fire three UFHFRAG rounds or three UBK-10 anti-tank guided missiles. The vehicle is also armed with a 30mm 2A72 automatic gun, which is also stabilized in two axes. The automatic gun fires 3 UR6 and 3 UR8 rounds. A 7.62mm PKTM coaxial machine gun, two 7.62mm bow machine guns and an 81mm smoke grenade launcher are also fitted. All the weapons are mounted on a single turret, which is protected by anti-surge vanes. The hull and turret of the vehicle are built with aluminium alloy armor to offer increased protection for the personnel against small arms fire and shell splinters. The BMP-3F Marines fighting vehicle is powered by an UTD-29M diesel engine, which produces a power of 500 horsepower. The propulsion system provides advanced mobility afloat and allows the vehicle to attain a speed of 10 km per hour on water. The vehicle can attain a road speed of 72 km per hour, can move backwards at a speed of 20 km, and has a range of 600 km. It can execute continuous amphibious operations on water for 7 hours with the running engine. Number 4. AAV-7A1. The amphibious assault vehicle, usually known as the AAV-7, was once called LVTP-7 by the US Marine Corps and other users. It is a bulky amphibious tracked vehicle intended to land troops on open beaches so it has to be seaworthy and is thus scaled accordingly. Intended as a replacement for the LVTP-5 series the LVTP-7 prototype appeared in 1967 with production commencing during 1970-1971. In 1985 it was renamed the AAV-7. By the time production has ceased over 1,500 had been produced not only for the U.S. Marines but also for seven export customers, including Argentina, Brazil, Italy, South Korea, Spain and Thailand. The AAV-7 has a crew of three, including commander, gunner and driver. The capacious troop compartment of the AAV-7 can hold up to 25 Marines or around 4,500 kilograms of supplies. Troops are seated on benches, entry and exit being via a large rear-mounted ramp or roof hatches. The AAV-7 is launched at sea from amphibious assault ships. This armored vehicle is self-deploying. It is intended for a forced entry into the semi-aquatic areas. The main mission of the vehicles during an amphibious assault is to spearhead a beach and to secure coastline for ongoing troops. Once ashore the AAV-7 can operate alongside other armored vehicles. Its functions include guarding checkpoints, patrolling and carrying troops and supplies further inland. This amphibious armored vehicle has a welded aluminum armor hull. Aluminum hull had a far greater rigidity than steel. It allowed to reduce the number of reinforcing structures and create a more usable interior. Armor of the AAV-7 provides protection against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. A kit was devised to permit extra add-on armor to be installed on most US Marine Corps vehicles. Recent military conflicts revealed that the AAV-7 is very vulnerable to landmines and improvised explosive devices. The AAV-7 has a small turret. Originally it was armed with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun. Later, it appeared that a single machine gun was insufficient and a 40mm automatic grenade launcher was added on improved AAV-7A1 model. Heavier turrets with 20 or 30mm cannons were tested on this amphibious vehicle, however eventually were not adopted. Engine of the AAV-7 is mounted at the front. Originally this vehicle was powered by a Detroit Diesel 8V53T turbocharged diesel engine, developing 400 horsepower. It has a multi-fuel engine, which can run on any grade of petrol, diesel, aviation fuel, or kerosene. 
In the water propulsion is provided by two water jet units at the rear, or alternatively, by spinning tracks vehicle has a seaworthiness up to a sea state 3. The late production model was the AAV7A1 and most earlier models were later brought up to this standard in the late 1970s. AAV7A1 improvements included a new Cummins diesel engine pack, night vision devices, a new weapon station control system, improved ventilation, and many other detail changes. Further improvements included universal weapon mounting capable of accommodating a 40mm automatic grenade launcher as well as 12.7mm machine gun. Number 3. Patria AMV 28A. Patria AMV 28A is a new member of the AMV series of wheeled armored vehicles produced by Patria. The vehicle is intended to offer an optimal combination of amphibious capability, protection, and firepower. The AMV 28A is based on the combat proven Patria AMV 8x8 armored vehicle. The robust hull of the vehicle provides high payload capacity and high level of protection, while allowing for the integration of heavy weapon systems. It is further covered with protective coating to withstand the marine environment. The AMV 28A is manned by a crew of three, including driver, commander and gunner, while the troop compartment can accommodate eight dismounting soldiers. The bolt-on marine environment amphibious kit fitted to the vehicle allows operation at sea state 3 conditions. The modular amphibious kit can be easily detached and reinstalled when required. The Patria AMV 28A is installed with Kongsberg Protector medium caliber turret mounting commander's independent weapon station with a 12.7mm machine gun and a Javelin anti-tank missile launcher. It offers superior firepower even in amphibious operations. The AMV offers the highest level of ballistic protection in its class. The frontal section of the hull provides protection against armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot rounds up to 30 mm, while the vehicle offers protection against improvised explosive devices, explosive-formed projectiles, as well as TNT mines of up to 10 kg. The crew is also protected from modern asymmetric threats. The vehicle also integrates nuclear, biological and chemical protection, as well as a defensive aid system and fire suppression system. The Patria AMV 28A is powered by a Scania DI-12 diesel engine coupled to ZF automatic transmission with seven forward gears and one reverse gear. An automated amphibious mode allows the vehicle to swim at a maximum speed of 10 km per hour. The vehicle can attain a maximum road speed of 100 km per hour and negotiate a gradient of 60% and a side slope of 30%. The vehicle has the capability to cross an obstacle of 0.7 meters and trench of 2.1 meters. Number 2. ZBD-2000 or ZBD-05 IFE. The ZBD-2000 amphibious infantry fighting vehicle was revealed in 2006. Sometimes it is referred as ZBD-05. This amphibious IFV is similar in concept to a cancelled U.S. expeditionary fighting vehicle. This armored vehicle was specially developed for the Chinese Marine Corps and has superior amphibious capabilities. The ZBD is in service with China. The U.S. Marine Corps cancelled their EFV program due to limited funding. Currently China is the only country to produce these unique high-speed amphibious IFVs. It shows the high level of resources China is devoting towards the amphibious assault capabilities. It is also being offered for export as VN-18. This amphibious armored vehicle has been exported to Venezuela. The ZBD-2000 is launched at sea from amphibious assault ships and swims at high speed over a long distance to shore. These IFBs are launched 10 kilometers from shore thus reducing the threats faced by amphibious assault ships. Maximum speed on water is 25 kilometers per hour. Even though this Chinese amphibious IFV may not reach the swimming performance of the US EFV, it is considerable improvement over other amphibious armored vehicles, such as a USA AV-7 amphibious armored personnel carrier. The ZBD-2000 is armed with a 30mm cannon. This cannon is of a brand new design. Probably it is a copy or license produced version of a Ukrainian cannon. There is also a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. This IFV is also fitted with a rail launchers for HJ-73C anti-tank guided missiles, mounted on either side of the turret. Some reload missiles are carried inside the hull. 
The HJ-73 series missiles have a number of limitations and cannot match performance and penetration of modern Western or Russian anti-tank guided missiles. However these missiles still add some degree of anti-tank capability for the ZBD-2000 amphibious IFBs. Vehicle can fire all its weapons afloat. So in terms of firepower the ZBD-2000 is way more capable than the SAV-7 amphibious armored personnel carrier. This IFB has a crew of three and accommodates ten fully equipped marines. Troops dismount through the rear door or roof hatches. By modern standard protection of this armored vehicle is rather limited. Hull of the ZBD-2000 provides all-round protection against 7.62mm armor-piercing rounds. It is believed that its frontal armor withstands 12.7mm armor-piercing rounds. So designing this vehicle emphasis was clearly stressed on amphibious speed rather than armor protection. Vehicle uses a planning hull and is propelled on water by two water jets. It was specially designed for high-speed swimming. This amphibious IFE is fitted with hydraulically actuated bow and transom flaps. When actuated these form a planning surface together with the bottom of the hull. It reduces hydrodynamic drag allowing vehicle to swim faster. Engine is located at the hull front. It develops 590 horsepower on land and 1580 horsepower on water. Number 1. ACV 1.1 Amphibious Combat Vehicle ACV, 1.1 is a new armored vehicle designed and manufactured by BAE Systems in collaboration with Iveco Defense Vehicles. The ACV 1.1 program was initiated by the U.S. Marine Corps in 2011 to replace its age-old amphibious assault vehicles AAV family, which entered service in 1972. The U.S. Marine Corps approved the ACV's initial operational capability in November 2020. BAE Systems was awarded a $184 million contract by the USMC for the first 36 ACV vehicles in December 2020. The USMC placed a $184 million full-rate production contract 36 more vehicles in February 2021, bringing the total number of vehicles to 72. The ACV personnel carrier version will also be manufactured under the contract. ACV 1.1 is based on an 8x8 wheeled amphibious platform developed by Iveco Defense Vehicles. The armored hull of the vehicles has been developed using mine-resistant floor materials. The ACV can be launched and recovered from the sea using a ship. It can perform operations smoothly even in the adverse sea state 3 conditions. The vehicle is designed to accommodate 3 crew members and 13 dismounted troops. It offers enough space to carry supplies required for the incumbents to survive for 2 continuous days. ACV 1.1 has a gross weight of 67,500 pounds, 30,617 kilograms, and can carry a maximum payload of 7,280 pounds, 3,302 kilograms. The amphibious combat vehicle features multiple weapon mounts to house a range of machine guns. It features a remote weapon station, which can be armed with an M20.50 caliber machine gun. The hull can be installed with a stabilized dual-mount turret for launching M2 slash Mark 19 grenades. ACV 1.1 offers improved survivability features such as blast-resistant hull and energy-absorbing seats. It protects the occupants from mine blasts, improvised explosive devices, kinetic energy warheads, small arms fire, and shell splinters. The vehicle is fitted with a six-cylinder diesel engine with a maximum power production capacity of 690 horsepower. It integrates an advanced H-Drive system developed by Iveco Defense Vehicles and provides the traction required for all the wheels when maneuvering on land and in water. The power plant provides a maximum speed of more than 105 km per hour on paved roads and a maximum amphibious speed of 6 kt. The maximum road range of the armored vehicle when traveling at a speed of 89 km per hour is 523 km. The vehicle offers an amphibious range of up to 12 nmi plus a range of 402 km on land. It is fitted with 16 or 20 tires and can negotiate gradients of more than 60% and side slopes of more than 30%. The curb-to-curb -curb turning radius of the combat vehicle is 36 feet 10.97 meters. Thank you for watching.